Center Big 12 Championship. And the finals between Kansas and Texas. KJ Adams set to jump against Dylan Mitchell. Kansas in the white and Texas in the burnt orange. Adams wins the tip. Kansas controls and we are underway. Well, last week, a week ago, it was all Texas. They dominated. Their defense was sensational. It was senior night. Carr deflected that one off the leg of Adams, and it goes out of bounds. Let's take a look at our starting lineups. They're brought to you by K Jewelers. Hunter Carr, Rice, Mitchell, and DeSue. No Timmy Allen for Texas. And then on the Kansas side, it'll be Harris, Yesifu, Dick, Wilson, and Adams. No McCullough for the Jayhawks. Yeah, McCullough's such a great defensive player. Yesifu gives him a guy that can make some shots, though. Brady Dick dives on the floor, and they're going to go possession arrow. I mentioned Bill Self not coaching, so Dorm Roberts, 6-0 is acting head coach. Pretty good record, 6-0, not bad. Hey, think about this, he's had a world of experience. Though. He was a head coach in New York City, had to deal with the pressure there at St. John's University. So he's been around, he really has, he's an experienced leader. Let me correct on that last play, Dylan DeSue charged with a foul, and so possession goes over to Kansas. Here's Wilson, and his first shot of the game off the mark. Well, last week, they really had a tough time getting any shots from Brady Dick. We got to make sure we got to watch and observe if he can get free for his shot. DeSue here spins and rolls it home. Dylan DeSue with 15 points and eight rebounds in the semifinals against TCU. He had 11 and 11 in the quarterfinals. So he's really accelerated his game in terms of offensively. Feed for Adams, kick out Yesifu. And flying in is Wilson, and he's going to be charged with the foul. Jalen Wilson, who led the conference in both scoring and rebounding. He's at 20 and 10, three straight games. And there he is going over the back. Yeah, absolutely. I can see that call. But let me tell you this. You know, you look at Jalen Wilson. You know, it amazed me when he came over and talked to us last week, and he said he had two more years of eligibility. Yeah. But he said, I'm gone. I'm going out. But he has two more years. Seems like he's been here for eternity. Guy originally signed for John Beeline in Michigan. Hunter. And a rebound pulled down by Dewan Harris. He's their floor general and the guy that makes this offense go. He's a terrific leader, great point guard. Knows how to defend as well as motor defensive player of the year in the conference. Yes, a food jumper is good, and Kansas on the board. That's why he's on the floor. He can really shoot the ball. He really had transferred here. That came over from Drake. Drake's had such a good program. Her team, boy, you don't want to see them in that first round in the NCAA. Oh, no. Sue oh. uses the screen and then throws it down. He's got four early. Well, breakdown defensively there. No communication at all out of Kansas. Nobody rotated over. Nobody communicated. Got an open layup. Jayhawks and the Longhorns for the third time, each winning on their home floor. Yesifu into the paint, kick out. Wilson wide open. He's, he had that baby all the way, squared his body, good rotation, good follow through. We're going to see a car has really been struggling. Car offensively the last five games, 14 for 60. He's much better than that. No question, he's much better than that. Take a look at us for now. He's going to spot the All American. He says, Why not? I'll give it to the All American. I'll get an assist, man. Are you kidding me? He's a PTP. Uh. There's some guy that said that originally about 30 years ago. What was his name? I remember him. His name was uh, oh, oh, Dick Vitale. Oh, mm -hmm. He's a wacko. <laughs> uh, I love his work. Tell we have a lot of fun, Boog. Really, we do. If you can't have fun in situations like this, do it a game, get paid for it. Steal the money, don't tell them. Do <laughs> I think we just did. DeSue knocks down the free throw, and Texas has tied this one up. This kid transferred from Vanderbilt. Last year, he was limited in terms of athleticism coming off a knee injury. But remember, he led the SEC in rebounding in 2021. So there's talent there, and he's shown it off last couple of games. He's got six early. Yeah, he's really been playing well for them. He's asserted himself offensively. Here's the full court pressure. 
I remember Bill Self telling me before the game last week his biggest concern was dealing with their pressure defense and not turning the ball over. Desu pops out on Wilson. Jumper. And that rolls off Hunter. And here comes Texas. One of the areas Texas concerned about rebounding on the year they have been out rebounded as a team. And so that's something to really focus on for the Longhorns. That is not normally the case for a team at the elite level right. to be out rebounded overall. It'll be Texas basketball with Kansas players and bench objecting to the call from this group and a great look from Sir Jabari Rice gets the bucket. Rice coming off a tough one, two for 12 against TCU, just five points. Not a great town defensively there in a special situation. AJ Adams able to answer with the bucket. So I wonder he's going to the most improved players in college basketball. Last year had limited minutes and this year certainly has become a real factor. Yeah, played 38 minutes all of last year. Average ten and a half and four and a half this season and a big part of their team. It's a smaller Kansas team Mitchell inside left hand gets it to go Really getting the kind of shots they want really Kansas not really putting up any kind of defense down here in a half-court game too many easy baskets Wilson puts it on the floor, absorbs the contact, and that rattles out. Jalen Wilson will shoot two free throws when we return. 10-7 Texas here in the early going. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Phillips 66. Proud sponsor of Big 12 basketball. Conference and welcoming ESPN legend Dick Vitale to the 2023 Phillips 66 Big 12 Conference Men's Basketball Championship. Just moments ago, really cool Big 12 Commissioner Brett Yormark coming over, honoring 
Dick Vitale with a, an autographed basketball from all the coaches oh. here. I personally loved all of the coaches doing their Dickie V impression. That oh. was fun up on the jumbo track. Tell you one thing, I was really surprised and shocked you knew about it. I had no idea. But I really appreciate it. all the fans have been so good to me. And I never forget the unbelievable welcome down there at the fog. But they did an unbelievable uh, uh, tribute to me. And it just brought me to tears. Yeah, really cool. What are your early thoughts so far in this matchup? My early thoughts are defensively. I think that Kansas has not shown their typical defense. Easy baskets. They're shooting four for five right now. When you look at Texas, a couple of layups early in the game. Jalen Wilson able to knock down the first free throw. And Rodney Terry going to the bench. That's an area where Texas will have an advantage as he brings in Brock Cunningham and Christian Bishop. Well, Bishop was big in the last game at a double-double. He was big in that game, the semifinal game. Carr looking for space with Yesifu on him. Swings it to Hunter. And Brock Cunningham takes a tumble. Oh, Hunter's really been shooting well the last six games. That's a great drive right there. Jalen Wilson, All-American, All-Rolls Royce, solid goal. That, he's a flat-out primetime player. Oh, nice fake. Hunter with that ball fake. Still had from Jabari Rice. Adams, rebound. Kansas by a point up ahead. Yes, Safu! But yes, we give him some point production. He's filling in, as you mentioned earlier, Boo, that without McCullough, and he took a Texas is without Allen. Good mid-range player. These are two heavyweight teams, there's no doubt about it. And Carr answers with a jumper. Their leading scorer this season, but he has scuffled a bit the last three games, shooting just 21%. Well, last five games, he's 14 for 60. You do the math in that common denominator, it's down to 25%. <laughs> I was told there would be no math. Harris high off the window and a good box size. Adams couldn't get at it. And Texas a chance to take the lead. Bishop with Adams on his hip. Loose ball, KJ Adams pulls it down. Tough shot right there by Bishop, a transfer from out of Creighton. Blue Jays played as a good program, good teams there. Wilson kick, Yesifu. Had a really good look at it. Cunningham rips away the rebound. And here's Jabari Rice. Jabari Rice could score. Did not shoot well the last game. Cunningham drills a three. Brock Cunningham. He's a veteran player. He's a guy that's been around quite a while. He's a guy that can give up point production. Shoots the three as you saw right there. Timmy Allen pumped up. Man, he was active on their bench in the semifinals. Yeah, he was animated. It's great to see a team yeah. player like that. Rolls off. It was almost in for Jalen Wilson, but instead, Texas the rebound. He looks at the rim and says, hey, don't they know I'm a star? That's supposed to go down. That's nice fake. Bishop nice inside. Well done. And Texas leading by four. Nice play by Bishop. Good head fake for you young kids out there. Use that head fake, man. Use it. Use the ball fake. Last Saturday we were there. It was Texas getting a 75-59 win. As Carr had a shot deflected a bit. And then timeout called as Yesifu grabbed it. 12.34 to go. Back in 30 seconds to Kansas City, the Big 12 championship.
Back here in Kansas City, nice look. Brock Cunningham oh. and then the ball oh. fake. Look at the ball fake. I think the defensive player left something on the floor and like that man. Oh, what a ball fake. And they love it on the bench. They love it on the bench. Jimmy Allen, their biggest cheerleader, and he was on his feet for most of their semifinal win against TCU. And Ernest Uday has checked in for Kansas. He made a big dunk the game you did. They were down only one time in that game, 39-38. He made a big dunk, and then it went on a 10-2 run. It's Iowa State, real good Iowa State team. Big time. T.J. Hasselberger. He does a great job. Got that program going in a good direction. Foul underneath. I believe it's on Brock Cunningham. Yep. Fouling Uday. Cunningham and Austin Kidd. And another foul called on Texas. This time it's on Desu, and that'll be his second. And immediately Christian Bishop will check back in. So Dylan Desu, who's been so good here at the Big 12 Championship in both the quarters and the semis, in some early foul trouble. Can't afford to lose a guy like that. Out of patience. Pettiford using that quickness, almost lost the handle. And they got three seconds. Turning the ball over, that's one thing they just cannot do. And uh, want to make those possessions really count. Texas in the middle of a 7-0 run. Talked all year about how this is the best conference. Every game is physically, emotionally, mentally just wears you out. It really does. I wonder if it's going to have any kind of problem whatsoever going into the NCAA tournament. I mean, they have taken such unbelievable emotion and intensity. Oh. Bishop are lucky he didn't get a foul call there. And then the crossover inside right hand is good. Two more for Christian Bishop. He's got four. So one thing, Bishop is really doing an excellent job coming off the bench. He made one heck of a play there. Changing direction. Drive to the goal. He's part of that transfer portal. It's really helped Texas big time. They're one of the most experienced teams in America, really. All kinds of veterans all over the place. Yeah, Ken Palm has them as the seventh most experienced team in the country. And they have been around their group. Yes, Sifu drills a three. That's big, and it's a three-point game. He has really been big for them. He has really been big for them. But he got seven points already? Seven early yeah. points for Yesifu, who averages just a shade under four per game. See, I pay attention. You don't think I'm full? I pay attention. <laughs> I can see. Morris lost the handle. Wilson goes to track it down, and now Pettiford will lead them into the front court. Kansas and Texas Big 12 Championship. John Chomby, Dick Vitale, and Chris Budden here from T-Mobile Center. Pettiford could beat you up to pounce. He really can up the dribble. I mean, he's right there. And a foul on Morris. 1916, we're talking Minister of Culture when we return.
total chaos early in the day. We have a speaker for you this afternoon, and I really didn't know who it was and who was going to be coming through that door. And when he came through that door, those guys were, were really excited about him being there and showing that support. They give us a message of inspiration um, to band together. Um, control, we can control, and he just kind of gave us an insight of um, kind of a look into his life. This is something Matthew McConaughey set up on his own after Chris Beer was dismissed as the head coach, wanted to speak to the team about the adversity that he had been through in his life. Dickie V, I can only imagine how much you would have wanted to be in that room, hanging out with the Minister of Culture, as they call him in Austin. I would love to have his looks. Are you kidding me, Chris? <laughs> Unbelievable. That guy, I went over there and get his autograph. Can I run over? Can I get, you, you can handle by yourself, right? I'll I'll be all right for a moment. I want to get his what a grab. Yeah, Matthew McConaughey, a guy who's been deeply connected with this Texas athletic department. MJ Rice has checked in for Kansas, the freshman. And here's Wilson now. Wilson at the basket, high off the glass, rolls off. He's had some tough, tough situations there. He's been really robbed a couple of times. Jabari Rice had a good look at it, could not connect. He usually gives him instant offense. You know, he's starting today, but he's normally coming off that bench. Had a real tough outing, the last one, two for 12. Harris needs some help, gets it to Wilson. Jalen Wilson with seven points in the early going. You know, Boog, I don't know your feelings, but I think Harris is one of the most underrated players in the nation. Not just here, Terry. Jalen Wilson drills a three, his second of the game. He's got 10 points, and we are tied. Tell you one thing, you got a guy like that who makes big, big plays. You're always right there knocking on the door. He gives you momentum with the big shots he makes. Car, little hesitation. Shot off the mark. And it'll stay with Texas on the jump ball. A reminder, Champ Week rolls on next as we bring you the New York Life ACC Championship game as Duke will take on Virginia. And then at 10.30 Eastern, we'll have the Pac-12 Championship game, Arizona and UCLA, both on ESPN and the app. One thing, those are two real interesting battles. Duke and Virginia. We, I did the game when Duke lost that heartbreaker in overtime. Filipowski should have been on a free throw line with a chance to win that game. But they've, that's the last game they lost. They've won eight in a row since then. John Shire, a star. I'm telling you, he is heading to be a star. S-T-A-R. I can even spell that. <laughs> I can spell that. Oh, my, I'm proud of myself. And Rice gets fouled. Jabari Rice will go to the line. And he will shoot two. And that foul on Harris. This guy with a great ball fake. Oh, look at that there. See, I mean, are you kidding me? Look at the defense react. To it. Most of the time they do. They react to ball fakes and head fakes. He was a big time scorer out there at New Mexico State. Yeah, they liked him because of the fit. A guy Rodney Terry knew from coaching against out there, but Rice was not concerned about starting, not starting. He just wanted to contribute, and the kid from Houston has been a big part of their success. Tell you one thing, he knew his ability, and he knew eventually if I get there, I'm going to get PT playing time. Doesn't matter about who starts, who finishes. Rice will try, and hit! He's getting some minutes here, Rice. Came in with a good reputation. He's had some a whole lot of playing time. And Adams charged with that foul as Tyrese Hunter will go to the line to shoot two. Or KJ Adams his second foul. Hunter last year, type of dandy of the year in the Big 12. Played at Iowa State. I think that's one of the things every once in a while that's jarring. You see so many teams have transfers, but when you see it happen in conference, it's it, it stops you for a second. It does, it really does. Especially when you see kids that are stars and playing vital big time minutes. Sure. You know, it used to be that you transferred because you weren't getting playing time. But now it's stars. I had a coach tell me, some people are making transfer offers while they're shaking hands after a game. 
I know we saw him right square down there. He's a freshman. He's an explosive scorer. And he's been hampered by injuries and sickness this year. He hit that three-pointer. He hit a game where he hit two threes against Texas Southern. Otherwise, he didn't make a three the entire year until that one. Hey, boy, I tell you, one thing, Grady Tips having a tough time getting any shots. I think he's only got one shot so far, am I right? Yeah, they just turned it over. Yeah, he's 0 for 1 from the floor, Grady did. We saw the same scenario in that game in Austin. He couldn't get free for a shot. I think he has to learn to move a little bit more without the ball. He's such a weapon. I mean, he strokes the ball. You just think it's going to go in. It brings me back to memories of guys like Mullen, and guys like Reggie Miller, guys like Steve Walford. When they shot the ball years ago and I did games, you just felt it was going in. I feel that way with him, but he's got to get shots. He's got to get free. New screens. Wilson goes at the basket, puts it in. What can he do? What can he do? I know he loves you, and he came over last week. Played the, he was in an 0 for 17 drought, shooting threes. He said, I'm going to get some today. And he did. Then he, then he acknowledged you when he made the three. <laughs> Wilson with a dozen. It's Kansas by a point here in Kansas City. <laughs> Back in now for tonight's Worth the Watch. It's brought to you by Principal, and every time Jalen Wilson takes a court Dicky V, he's worth the watch. He really is. He's a very good attacker. He can shoot the three. He scores in a variety of ways. Three level guys we talk about now. He can shoot from range, mid range. Who's right. that guy? Hey, the Shaq is in the house. He came over here. I got a big hug and kiss on my man, Shaquille. I'll never forget his coming out party. When the LSU played Arizona, they played Arizona, and he just dominated against Sean Brooks and Williams. And 
And he always he thanked me for that. I said, don't thank me, man. I said, you. Thank you for what a, what a player. An you know what I like about college him? player. He and Charles Barkley. Kenny Smith, they do such a great job. Nice shot on the move. Grady Dick yes, he got gets free that for, to go. He got free for a shot right there. They do a great job with that show, Ernie Johnson. They have about as much fun as oh, it gets, no question. That's what the game is about. Have fun, man. I think sometimes they're too scripted. They're so unscripted. Brock Cunningham gives off. Jabari Rice back to Cunningham. And then oh, nice pass. Pass. oh, good cut. And Rice puts it in. Great movement without the ball. A lot of good things happen when you get motion, you get ball movement, player movement. Rice with an excellent job. Really moving out the ball. Cunningham with the pass. Cunningham's dad was a football player in Texas. Hannaford saves it, but Rice is the one that collects it. Hannaford was down a point. Wide open. Shoot that, baby. Shoot home. Cunningham had a great look at it, and now it's Wilson who rebounds and pushes. You know, he hesitated on that shot. He wasn't sure he wanted to shoot it. He had to shoot it with confidence. Wilson with the smaller Jabari Rice on him. The jumper is good. It's a two. What a tournament he has had. What a tournament, but what a year he has had. He's been solid goal right out of the gate. He's got a dozen double doubles this year, and the last three games he's gone 20 and 10 at each game. Yesifu up ahead, Grady Dick jumper, cutting in the rebound. They're gonna get Clark. Clark's got to give him some positive minutes. Got one on one. He's gonna try to get one on one. Bishop working on the freshman Ude. He did everything right except score. Hunter short on that shot. Loose ball and Pettiford able to save it as Grady Dick did the hard work. Yes, a fool. Grady Dick offensive rebound. The putback wouldn't fall. Grady Dick with a great effort down here defensively. Cunningham gets that one and we're tied. Well, that one was no hesitation. He let that one fly. I love him. He's a Texas kid. Six points for Brock Cunningham. And a timeout of the floor. 28 apiece back in 30 seconds to T-Mobile Center. Got a good one in the Big 12 final. Back here in Kansas City, tied at 28. John Shelby, Dick Vitale, Chris Budden, and moving without the ball is always so crucial. Texas does a good job with it. There's a sample right here. We're going to watch right down the cut of the defense. Great movement without the ball and gets a layup. Nice pass by Cunningham. Bryce finishes it off. Really, I love that kind of play. The guy who probably is their best cutter, so to speak, is Timmy Allen, and he is out. He's so good in the mid-range at cutting. Jabari yeah. Rice has gotten off to a good start with six points. Well, he's out for them, and he really gives them that mid-range guy who can score. But on the other side, Kansas is missing a tremendous uh, defensive player in terms of McCullough. In fact, he's one of the top finalists for defensive player nationally. Even though in a conference, he got nipped by his buddy, Dewan Harris. He goes to Juan Harris, Mr. 94. Mr. 94 feet. He said he pressures you, he gets in your face, 94 feet. Did a great job Harris did on Gabe Kalsher in the semifinal win over Iowa State. Here's Harris. Grady Dick, catch and shoot. And that one was long. 
Defense really bothered him, rotated over Carr. Got a hand up. Marcus Carr here. His second season at Austin. And a very strong one. Here's Wilson now. Wilson does a great job grabbing that ball off the glass and attacking with it. Uday not able to follow the miss from Jalen Wilson. And now a loose ball, but Bishop comes up with it. Hey, Bishop and Cunningham off the bench have really helped them big time. Carr weaves to the basket and one. Marcus Carr to the line. See, that's what he needs out of him. He's got scoring ability. He has scored all through his career. Went to be a Minnesota here. Foul on Yasufu. Carr at the line when we return. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Principal. When you take care of your team, they take care of business. Kevin, Chris, and Fred coming up on the All-State Halftime Report. We'll get you caught up on things in the Big Ten and the SEC, plus set the table for the ACC Championship, Duke, Virginia, later tonight. Fred, Jalen Wilson's been great, but in five Big 12 losses this year, Kansas only puts two starters and double figures. He averages 28. They need more balance. And that backcourt for Texas, Hunter Carr and Rice, a combined four of 14, and they're up two. If you're Rodney Terry Boog, you got to feel pretty good about those other guys giving you production. Yeah, no doubt. So we'll see how Carr and Rice and company are able to continue. But here's Marcus Carr weaving through traffic. And on that last play, oh. took the contact, and now he's at the line. Which I wonder that's big for him because he's got to be struggling a little bit psychologically in terms of playing because he's been, like I said, really struggling shooting. Shooting 25% in the last six games. The guy that's got to step up. I agree with Fran about the balance. And to get that balance, they got to get Grady Dick some good open looks. Harris lob. And Uday not able to throw it down. Desu 
Coming in a one. Look at a battle going on. Kansas basketball as they go possession arrow. Norm Roberts during that last timeout trying to get his team to settle down, saying they're playing well. They've had open looks. Eventually those shots are going to fall. Looked at Dewan Harris, want a little bit more aggression out of him. When they've played so well here in Kansas City, they've been able to get more shots out of Dewan Harris. Hey, he's a guy that can knock down a jumper and looks certainly capable of scoring more than he has. Turnover. Morris does well to stay under control and put it in, and Texas leads by four. Did a great job taking the turnover and converting in transition. You're right, Boogie did an excellent job keeping his balance and his agility and mobility. Harris inside, little too strong, Mitchell rebounds. Little strong, little run right now by the Longhorns. Morris wide open. Ah, wow, how big has he been off the bench? I mean, their bench has been a difference maker here. Morris comes up big with a drive and a big three. And well, they go up seven now on the Jayhawks. It's a 10-0 Texas run. The defense played a point in that as well. Got a turnover right here. Kansas turns it over. Texas basketball. And Grady Dick will check back in. MJ Rice will grab a seat. Big 12 championship. The one seed and the two seed, Kansas and Texas. And right now, the Longhorns with the ball leading by seven. John Chompy, Dick Vitale, and Chris Budden. Rice. Cunningham, strong rebound. Morris. Wilson uh -oh. comes away with it. Wilson at the basket. Ten one. It's a big time play. Big time play. Team is struggling down seven. And what happens? The All American shows why he's an All American. He is determined. He is going to the rack, baby. And nothing's going to stop him. Euro step conversion. And now goes to the free throw line. Man, you think about the great players this year in college hoops. You got them right up there with Timmy and certainly Miller down at Alabama. Think about the kind of years they've had. Fred Sasser down at Houston had a little injury today. He's been great all year as well. Well, one of the things when the shot is not going, he does such a good job getting to the line and he knocks down his free throws. He's a perfect 12 for 12 from the free throw line in this tourney and on the season 78 percent so what i love about him he plays hard even when the ball's not going in he never lets up he plays with great passion great feeling bishop inside had it stripped away i think it was harris and now oh. wilson his play really becomes contagious to the team and giving everybody a lift Yes, Sifu off the glass and in. Nine points for Joe Yesifu. So one thing, 10-0 run, seven-point lead is now down to a deuce. They're so explosive. When Kansas is playing their A game, they're going to be a team to beat. They have a great chance to be right here in this arena in the regional if they can buy the first two rounds. Well, they'll go to Des Moines. Inside Rice for two. See, and Rice Texas the lead back to four. You know, move, Rice moves better without the ball almost than anybody on the floor. Most of it's great with the ball. The lead is four. A little over 19,000 here in Kansas City. And a partisan crowd, mainly Kansas fans. You can see all the blue, a little bit of burnt orange here and there. I'm going to let all the Kansas fans relax for a moment. I was on a phone today with Mr. Lenardi. And I said, Mr. Lenardi, I have a question for you. If Kansas gets beat today, if they get beat today in the Big 12 championship, do they lose the number one overall seed? He said, absolutely not. He said, they have beaten 20 teams that I have in my field right now. Nobody has that close to that. 17 quad one wins. Verdict done, completed. They will pick and play right here in the regional if they can buy those two rounds in Des Moines. 
We have a chance to go back to back like Florida did 2006 2007 Billy Donovan. Yeah, that's the last time a team Went back to back and in fact we mentioned this the other day on the air. We haven't had a team Get past the sweet 16 forget about repeating so if they just can get past the sweet 16 That would be making news welcome courtside John Chambi and Dick Vital here at the big 12 championship All right, so what stood out to you at least thus far in this one? Well in this game is standing up for me it's the play of Wilson has been brilliant on the other side I look at Texas moving without the ball Defensively forces some opportunities, but I want to get back to your point about how difficult it is is to have those back-to-backs because there's no stability anymore in a lineup. There's not the stability. I mean, I've said this, and I really firmly believe it. That's my feeling. It doesn't make me right. In the last 20 years, this has been the best conference in basketball. But years ago, it was the stability in the 80s when you had those great teams. Coach Beheim, who stepped down now, John Thompson, Massimino, Ricardo Seca. Then you had those great teams in the Big Ten. We had all those great players, Janey, Jimmy Jackson and company. And there's the Shaq man when he was in the LSEC, Shaquille O'Neal. As great as a player he is, he's even a better person. He so has a heart of goal and is good with people. Trust me, I know. Just a shade over a second, the difference between shot clock and game clock. They get it to Cunningham. And now Carr looking for some space. Carr at the basket. Rattles it home. Marcus Carr. And the punctuation mark of the first half for Texas. It's in that Uncle Mo on momentum, and that's big news for them. The car scoring like Let's check out our first half stats. They're brought to you by Audi and Jalen Wilson with 17 points to lead both teams. The rest of the team with only 16. Look at the advantage for Texas, 15 to 3 in the bench points. And yeah, the Longhorns ended the half on an 11-5 run. Second half underway, Texas with the basketball. Marcus Carr, catch and shoot, and he knocks it down. He's got eight. Tell you one thing, he's a lot better today than he's been. He's been really struggle cities, we pointed out, but the young guy has come out here, and he's been a major factor for the reason right now they're up by eight. Biggest lead of the game for Texas, Yesifu catches. Grady Dick from the free throw line. Got it. Nice play right there by Grady Dick. Try to pro scouts really like him because of his great size, his touch, and he showed right there he could put it on the floor and get free for a shot. Hunter was 0 for 5 in the first half, and he's been really the last six games. So he's been shooting the ball well. He's still in DeSue. DeSue. Six points early in the first half, and that jump hook will go. Yeah, two fouls. He went to the bench, so he's back on the floor, and he just assertive on the offensive end. He's been a different player in the last part of the season. Jalen Wilson with the smaller Jabari Rice on him. And yeah, that fadeaway, that is gorgeous. 19 for Jalen Wilson. He says, that's an event of a man. That's a mismatch. He can't handle me one-on-one -on -one down there. I just back him up. I mean, he scores in so many variety of ways. Marcus Carr's starting to feel it. He's got 10. He's always been a big scorer. He just went into a little drought. But what a time for them for him to find that touch. Carr started his career at Minnesota. Yes, a who? And they're going to count that basket. Back to that move from Grady Dick. Yeah, puts it on the floor. Watch this right now. They're going to reverse the ball. There's a little fake, a little jab step. As he squares his body, knocks it down. He's got such great touch. Seems like he's been a little uncomfortable, Grady Dick. Let's take a check of this. What fade away? What fade away, Jay? John, you mentioned something about Grady Dick. You saw him wince there after making that shot. He was the last one to leave the locker room. The entire team went out. He came out about a minute or two after them walking out of the locker room. So we'll see if he's okay as Harris lost the handle. Kansas turns it over. Dewan Harris is so much better than what we're witnessing here. 
tonight. Really, he is head shoulders better than this. He's one of the premier point guards in America, but he has not really played anywhere near to his potential. Yeah, has not scored in Harris with two assists and two turnovers. They're one of the top distributors of the basketball in the nation. Better than six assists a game. Number one in the conference. Hunter gets inside. A little too strong. And the tip from Dylan DeSue. To DeSue. He just keeps working and working and working. Transfer went to Vanderbilt. Well, Jerry Stackhouse would like to have him. And won 10 in the last 12 games. Got beat today by a real good Texas a &M team. And Jalen Wilson just overpowering Jabari Rice. He's keeping him in the game. He's keeping him respectful. He's carrying his club. Saying, like, come on, guys, help me out a little bit. It's like you help me out all the time. <laughs> and back at you. Car going to work. DeSue. And Matt will go. He's got a dozen. Good execution there. A little two man play. The bench loves it. Timmy Allen, big cheerleader. Nice little two man play. Set the screen. The screen always becomes one of the most dangerous guys on the floor. People relax when they see the screener. I said a little one on one inside. Grady Dick. That shot wouldn't fall. Texas by eight. Texas trying to beat Kansas twice in one week. They get the foul on KJ Adams, our under 16 timeout. Texas in control right now. It's 49 41. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Principal. When you take care of your team, they take care of business. Back in Kansas City, 
Big 12 championship, our final between the one seed and the two seed, Kansas and Texas. Longhorns with the lead right now. A reminder, selection Sunday coming at you. And we got you covered tomorrow. It starts at noon Eastern on ESPN College Basketball Live to prep the day at 6. Reese and the guys look at the men's field of 68. Followed by bracketology, breakdowns of each region, announcement of the women's field of 68 at 8 o'clock. I know you'll be prominently featured. <laughs> I'm going to join those guys, Reese and company. You're going to hear the same rant every year. You know, this team should have got in every year. We got something we complain about. It's, the committee does a great job. I mean, they work so hard. But I'll be honest with you, I am whacked out over numbers and ratings and quads and nets. And, you know, sometimes the little one eye, eye test is better than all. Seriously. I mean, it just gets... It's overdone. It really is. It's always an evaluation. And it all favors the elite programs. It doesn't favor the mid-major guy. Can't get quads. I, that's another story. I'll save that for Reese Davis. <laughs> Hunter rebounds the Yesifu miss. And Texas looking to add to its lead. If Kansas is going to leave here with a win, two players got to step up. Dick offensively, and Juan Harris has to be the Juan Harris. If they don't, they're not going to leave it here with this championship. Ball fake from Rice. And Doug Sermon saying, off Kansas. Take a look right there, Coach Roberts. He's got a great reputation. People love him. He's the super guy. Well, they get the foul on Dylan DeSue. That's going to be his third. And he's, I don't think he's missed a shot yet, has he? But my memory tells me he hasn't missed a shot. Five for six. He's oh, he did miss one. Oh, I must have missed it. My one eye must have went to sleep. I missed that one shot. Oh, I know he's five for five at one time. Harrison, Kansas into the front court. And now Wilson, who's got a game high 21. And pick up his dribble. Yesipu can't hit, and they're one and done. Texas done a good job on the boards. That has been a problem for them at times this year. You're right about that. You talked about how they've not been a good rebounding team. Carr will try. Got it! The kid from Canada with 13. The Minnesota transfer. And the biggest lead of the game for Texas, it's 11. He was at Pittsburgh as well. Yep. He's been a traveling man. He's been a Marco Polo. Wilson trying to answer. Can't do it. Carr the rebound. Carr stutter step. Out of bounds, it stays with Texas. Yeah, it's reminiscent of the game we had the other day last week. Very similar. Can't Texas taking charge. They hurt themselves. They could maybe have a share for the title if they didn't lose that game to TCU at yep. the end of the year. Where they turned the ball over and they got killed in that game by Miller and Ball. They stopped them uh, yesterday. Yep. They kept both guys under control. And Rice turns it over. That was a mystery game to me. 22 turnovers. Miles, a great player, goes over eight, and they still win the game. Juan Harris turns it over. And it's Texas basketball. See that heuristic turnover. That's 10 turnovers for Kansas. See, that's not the one Harris right there. He normally protects the basketball. He has a great assist to turnover ratio. It's just really not in a flow. It's rhythm. It's just not what you normally see. I've always felt that he was as good as almost any point guard in the nation. Wilson on the smaller car. Car's been a big plus for them today. It's coming in. He has really been struggling. City, as we said earlier. Morris is fouled by MJ Rice. So freshman on freshman foul. A reminder: the SEC championship coming up tomorrow. The one seed and the two seed. It's Alabama and Texas A&M. One Eastern right here on ESPN Alabama getting past Missouri in one semifinal AM beating Vanderbilt. And again, one Eastern.
Tell you one thing, Buzz Williams. What a job he's done. Everywhere he's been, he's been a winner. No doubt. My, my national coach of the year used to coach in Texas. Shafka Smart. Yep. With the job he's done with Marquette. They were projected to be ninth in the conference, ninth in the Big East. And here they are. And they were the last time I looked, they were in command against a really good Xavier team. What a job he's done up there at Marquette. Did a great job of VCU. In fact, he made us all eat our words at VCU. And they went to the final four. Yeah. I guess they said there's no chance, no way that could happen. Oh, man, they made me eat my words. 2011. Yep. Here comes the Kansas crowd. Grady Dick. They've really played tough on Dick the two games I've watched. Left hand rolls off. Morris pushing. Wilson takes it back. Who's out of control? the other way. Who's out of control in that possession on the turnover? Offensive foul. Norm Roberts didn't agree with the call from Marcus Pettigrew. We've got a veteran officiating group. John Higgins, Doug Sermons, Marcus Pettigrew. It's one of those calls, very difficult. I, I thought he lowered his shoulder into him. I really did. They just don't have any rhythm going at all offensively. They're not efficient like a normal Kansas team. I want to give a shout out to Bill Self, too. I hope Bill's watching. Bill, we love you, man. You were so missed and praying for you. I know you used to send me prayers for myself. I'm telling you, man, just worry about your health. That's the number one priority. Get well, coach. Get well, man. We miss you. Hunter here with Rice on a Bishop setting a screen. Now another shot clock under 10. Hunter ball fake. Now the jumper. That's short. And Kansas the other way. Down by a dozen. Be nice if he gets some looks for three. Wilson looking, probing at the basket. KJ Adams there, and he puts it home. Great offensive rebound right there by Adams. Very active. Crowd loves it. Look at the crowd. Here come Rock Chalk J. Hawk. The fans, little Rock Chalk J. Hawk. Come on, let's sing it. Rock Chalk J. Hawk. Longhorn, so we don't want to hear that. There's a lot of blue in this place. Yeah, there's no doubt. Bishop looking for some help. Shot clock winding down. Cunningham. Jump the wooden ball. Cunningham the rebound. Rice. And they call three seconds. <laughs> it's a call you don't see too often, but they get it right at the time. Three second call. Ten point. Texas advantage still to come. Duke trying to secure an ACC championship. John Shire and his group against Virginia.
Welcome back. Well, if you want to watch the Sweet 16 with Dickie V, the money goes to a good cause. You can purchase a ticket, v.org slash super16. John Chomby and Dick Vitale courtside. You're going to get Shaq to yeah. come. Watch out. Well, we're going to have a great basketball bash at my house, and this is going to be a great trip for whoever wins. We've even got a cruise for them happening on Saturday. They dinner and a cruise on uh, Saturday for Friday to come to my house on the 24th. Get him. Gonna, He's got some money. He's got some money. I'm going to some money. Gonna, I'm gonna try to get him. I'll tell you one thing, people. Go to V.org. It's John just said v.org slash super 16 it's a hundred dollars all the money goes for kids battling cancer there's nothing that means more to me than helping other kids I know what it is to go through that battle of cancer i can't imagine families going through that with kids so v.org slash super 16 100 bucks all benefits the v foundation Adams inside that one off the window out of bounds. Doug Sermon says Texas basketball. Tell you right now, you know, Harris is, I don't think he scored a point. He is not. One. And Grady Dick has got only, a, what does Grady have? Four. Four. I mean, you can't have those two guards yeah. come up empty like that against a good club like Texas and expect to get a W. They got to really find themselves. Still a lot of time, 11 minutes on a clock. He's playing with three fouls. Is he not Desu? Desu? Desu has three fouls right yeah. now. Carr. Oh, he got fouled. Did he go a foul there? Wow, I nope. he got pushed. Yep. Cunningham gets it to go. Brock Cunningham with eight points making an impact in this one. I'll tell you, the bench has made an impact. You got to give Coach Terry credit the way he's utilizing that bench because he's done a good job cutting in. Bishop's done a good job. Morris. Harris at the basket puts it in his first two of the game. That's the one Harris we know drive be aggressive Be an attacker How they gonna make something happen with their defense Harris can play game Hard beat him that time though Rice not able to hit to sue inside Cunningham Offensive rebound again. Look at the work he's done. He finds Rice and one. I tell you, Cunningham made that happen. They should go give him a hug. Go give him a squeeze. Say, great job. It becomes contagious. Man, they want it. Look at them. They want it. They want to leave with the gold trophy here. And Blamanica being a Big 12 champ, the best conference in the nation. Look at him working the glass. How about Boog? Look at him working. He's so tenacious there. Coming off the bench, he's earning some PT play at time. Hey, Chris Budden, Brock Cunningham making an impact. He's an energizer buddy, but a guy that <laughs> when he started at the school, I don't think they expected he was going to have this type of impact. Yeah, when you look back at his freshman year under Shaka Smart, Shaka would have everyone write down how many minutes everyone should average. How much did they think Brock Cunningham should average? 1.8 minutes. It made him so mad that he had it tattooed onto his wrist as a reminder what people thought of him, the grind to put in, and it's showing off today. Eight so, points in 17 minutes for Brock Cunningham. He's, he's born and raised in Austin. He's the mayor of Austin, some people said, and love him there in Texas. <laughs> Turnover over from Harris. Texas leading it by 13. 13 and really looking for control. Really looking for control. Marcus Carr off the window and in. And one of the reasons Marcus Carr. Marcus Carr has elevated his game tonight. And Coach Terry, I'm telling the people at Texas, if they don't hire that guy full time, they are out of their mind. He has done an amazing job with this team. Amazing job. Wilson inside off the glass and one. Need some help, man. Need some help for my buddies. That's what cries got to be. I need some help. You were listening to the studio, guys, and you touched on it. Fran Fraschilla made a good point. You look at Kansas in their losses. The box score in their losses has looked a lot like today's box score, where Jalen Wilson is doing all this work, and he's not getting a lot of help. They're not getting two guys, Fran talked about, in double figures. Fred knows this league, there's no doubt about it. And then on the other side, one of the things that you just touched on, Rodney Terry, I mean, look, if, if they win the Big 12 championship, a league like this, 20, he's got 25 wins already. I mean, what has the guy got to do? He's got to win a national championship? 
I mean, come on now. We're looking for the mega star, looking for the major guy, big name. Why not give it to a guy that has passion, loves the school, loves the university, loves the city of Austin, and he's produced. He's produced. I mean, he's been very productive with this team. Carr probing, probing. Cunningham with Wilson on him. This game is super physical. Here's Rice turning the corner. Inside off the glass and good. I'll tell you one thing, he can score, man. He's got that scorer's mentality. They look to me as a team that is not going to be denied here. They really, and we saw that last week. You know, we, we passed it a while. It's senior day. Texas is at home. Well, not on the home here. Wilson can't hit. Loose ball. And Carr comes away with it. Texas the other way. Carr. And Wilson pulls down the rebound. They can't get anything easy. Look at Morris. Wow. Got his hand in there and stole it. And then the lob attempt for Desu out of bounds. It'll be Kansas basketball. Wow. wow. Can you believe it? Uh, can't believe it. Ooh, can't believe it. Haven't seen Kansas look this bad in ages. In front of a partisan crowd, Longhorns in control. Yesterday, after the win, Rodney Terry had to get down, give him 10 push-ups. This isn't a celebration, guys. He had to pay up. I asked him, why'd you have to do the push-ups? It's because he got a technical foul the other day. Had to, had to pay. I love it. Hey, win this game. Maybe they'll make him do 20 push-ups. I'll tell you what, he'll do them, too. If they win this... I would say they have locked up a two seed. The last time they were a two seed, you got to go all the way back to 2008. Last time they got to a sweet 16, 2014. What a job 
Rodney Terry is done. They're 757 away from winning the Big 12 championship. Somebody, somebody's got to notify their administration the job he's done because I keep hearing all these rumors. He's got to go here, go to the Final Four. That's all ridiculous. It's absurd talk. Chatter should not be at. Appreciate lost what you the got. handle. They went to the possession arrow. It still belongs to Kansas, but yeah, he's he's just done a great job. Obviously, a, a guy who connects with his team communicates really well yep. but you know i got to credit chris beard in a way he brought in a tremendous staff i mean he really did unfortunately for him he had that incident and some people say he's going to get a second opportunity at old miss now that's they need, they need that shoot. shot to go down hit a couple of threes and get this place really rocking kid has such a smooth release but you got to get free for shots The Sioux Lakes laying that screen and release and roll. I mean, it's so easy, easy basket. He's got 14. Two man play to been executing that same play, and Kansas has no answer for it. Just a simple screen, roll to the goal, and get a 12 foot loose shot. And he is like what a manic now in that role. To Sioux with 14, Carr with 15, Rice with 13. Yesifu grabs a rebound and then gets fouled. Yes, who came from Trey? Played for Darian DeVries, who's done a great job up there. They're going to be a team that people don't want to see on that line. Teams like them and College of Charleston. Tell you another one, Kennesaw State, you know, high and up. Those teams can cause some problems in that first round matchup. Kansas giving away points at the line. I've been giving away points at the line and defensively started early in his game first few possessions easy layups by Texas Uday with a huge offensive rebound, but then Texas takes it away That's been the story of this game a lot of grit from Texas and a great job on some of those 50 50 balls and also that bench the bench has been a difference maker big time is that little screen again? He gets free with the ball. Dessou feeds Rice inside, scoops it in. And there's Rice again, moving without the basketball. A little cut off the post guy. Gets a good angle, good look. I mean, they are executing. They are so efficient today, offensively and defensively. Wilson. Oh, what an effort he made there. Tried to get the offensive rebound, but not able to do it. And now Jabari Rice. Fouled up on top. And Harris will help up Dylan DeSue. Foul on Dewan Harris, his second. MJ Rice will check back in. Grady Dick to the bench. Kansas down by 16. And here at T-Mobile Center in Kansas City, John Shambi and Dick Vitale. It's like a home court here. Yeah. See all the blue around. You're not it's like kidding. a home court advantage. And so even greater credit to Texas, man. They have run that two-man game with Carr and DeSue really well. And now DeSue, size advantage on MJ Rice. Spinning, oh, what a spinning. nice play. What a great post play. Good footwork. What an excellent play in there, John. Unbelievable. Isolated on the smaller guy. He's got 16 points. What a tournament it's been for Dylan DeSue. You know, Dylan DeSue is a player that knows his strengths and he knows his weaknesses. Some people just don't understand the strengths and weaknesses, and he does. Harris, little floater, wouldn't go. It's tough to say we see an incredible comeback because I haven't seen any example here to let me think that. Other than a great tradition and a great pride and tremendous year to have. But on this given day, we don't see that kind of performance. The Sioux kick out Carr into the paint. Now Cunningham. And Wilson the rebound. Under five to go in Kansas. Down big by 18 here in the Big 12 championship. Yesifu barrels to the basket. Cunningham ripped it away. And now That's it's Rice. Bad. Lob. Oh! 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 oh up and up away. They're up 20 on the Jayhawks. are going to be the number one overall. Choice. What a performance by Texas. 
Longhorns, baby. It is all long. You think they'll party tonight in Austin, Texas? Wow. Wow. Look at that lob jam. That red ash we went to is going to be jumping tonight. <laughs> that was a great Italian restaurant. It was even better because we didn't pay the bill. <laughs> Back here in Kansas City and Texas, everything going their way. Brock Cunningham's been in the middle of most of it, and now Jabari Rice, Arterio Morris. Whoa. Arterio, unbelievable, Mr. Morris. What a play. 6 2, high rise. Up. Yes, he loves it. He was the elevator man right there. He was up, up in the way, baby. It was slam champ, bam. Oh, he's looking at the clock. Yeah, not happy. Look at those smiles there. These Jayhawks have some of the greatest fans. They're going to renovate, doing an incredible job, spending millions on the uh, fog, and it's going to be gorgeous what they're going to do to the concourse areas. Just beautiful. I love doing the game, man. The people care. They have care so much about the program. I'll tell you, Texas has moved into a beautiful new arena, the Moody Center. Wilson, kick out to... Harris. She real no rhythm at all offensively. None. Really haven't no right there. That's the two bad play. Should be doing a little more of that the entire game. But for the game, they really have no rhythm. And you know what? We gotta credit Coach Terry and his team defensively. Yeah. Sometimes we say teams not shooting without shooting one. Well the reason because the defense. Rice of three. Going in. Out. Great rebound for Brock Cunningham. That's his eighth rebound out of bounds. And Texas basketball. It's our other four timeout. It'll be Duke and Virginia coming up. Tyrese Proctor and the Blue Devils trying to pick up an ACC championship.
ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Philip 66, proud sponsor of Big 12 basketball. Last two champions here in Kansas City, Ochai Abaji and the Jayhawks last year, but the year before, it was the Longhorns winning it. The only time they won the Big 12 championship. All right, our game summary, and in the second half, Texas 14 of 25 from the floor and then those bench points Dickie B for the whole game that's been advantage Texas well so the rebounding off the bench I mean I can't stress enough what Cunningham's meant to this Morris has meant Bishop those guys came off the bench and so productive and they shut down the stars when you shut down the stars I mean I look at certainly Dick is a star I look at certainly Harris is a star Marcus Carr has been outstanding. He's got 17. He's having a field that get into the rack. It started right in the opening part of his game. We saw drives to the goal for layups. It hasn't stopped. Get great looks. Wilson jumper. That's short. Grady Dick pulls it down. Earlier this year, I asked Bill Self, when you guys are good, what do you do well? And he said, we move the ball. Well, today they've got seven assists on 22 field goals. Yeah. That's not moving it the way they normally do. And they normally don't turn it over. And they normally don't get beat on the glass like they've been. They've been out hustled here today. They really have. They've been out scrapped. 20 point advantage for Texas Carr. The hesitation inside. A little bit strong. Adams kick up ahead. Harris at the basket. Spins it in. He wanted a foul. Should have probably had a foul. That was a little transition layup. We haven't seen that the entire game. Yeah, we haven't. Getting easy layups in transition. They'll bounce back. Tell one thing, nobody's going to pay big in the first round of the NCAA tournament against them. I really believe that. They go to Des Moines, and then they get a trip back here. Morris. Look at that. He collects and puts it in. I mean, unimpeded, just grabs a rebound and a layup. No. Contestant, no contest at all. Yeah, I mean just completely goes right to the rack on an offensive rebound for a layup You mentioned it earlier. You said it at the outset that you had spoken with Joe Lenardi I just texted him just to reconfirm. I said Kansas loses for you. They're still the number one overall seed. He said yes I really believe that I, I think also when you look at the number one seeds on that line certainly Houston, Alabama And the fourth one is questionable. Some people say UCLA. I say Purdue. If Purdue wins the to me wins the big ten I don't think you can deny them that number one spot Now the question is will the committee wait for tomorrow? But I, I, I think they got to be number one Purdue really you look at the Big Ten versus the Pac-12 in terms of competition. I mean, UCLA's done a great job, Mick Cronin and her team, but they haven't played the competition that they do play. Texas into the front court. Layup, layup. Dessou is found. Dylan Dessou with 16 points and six rebounds, and he is our player of the game. Brought to you by Phillips 66 and. <laughs> You got got to say he, he's making a pretty good case as the most the outstanding MVP. player. Yeah, he should be after yesterday's game and this game <laughs> You talk about great performances certainly Jalen's been great in the tournament But to me the, to the victor goes the spoils. I get it. You win you take care of the winner. 17 for Dessou, 17 for Carr, 17 for Rice. I think a big winner here today is Rodney Terry. I don't believe that you could have the guts not to hire this guy after what he's done. This conference, as tough as it is to go through, getting the job in a real tough situation when he got it, and to come in here and do what he's done, win the Big 12, Championship here it is tournament wise with 26 games. Come on now. Come on be top 10 in the country most of the year a great great effort by Texas and Kansas will be back. Kansas will be back. There's too much pride Bill self more importantly We love you and we just pray for you get better listen to your medical team. Don't worry about basketball Worry about just being as healthy as you can be. Look at the hugs for Marcus Carr and Jabari Rice. And Rodney Terry clearing the bench a bit. 
Jankovic off the mark. These guys will get a chance to talk about playing in the Big 12 yep. championship. You're part of it. They practice every day, bust their guts in practice, helping the team. Paramin giving off to Bishop here. Colbot into the game as well. Shot clock winding down. And a turnover. So Yesifu pushes it into the front court. How about this? Texas by 20 in the Big 12 championship. Rolls off, Bot pulls the rebound down. The Texas Longhorns win it here in Kansas City. What a great job by Rodney Terry's team as he gets the hug from Norm.